to. With SpaceX, it's a harder problem because uh, the long-term objective is to make life multiplanetary with a self-sustaining city on Mars, which is likely to be very cash flow negative uh, at first. And very much a long-term, let's just say the target market on Mars is small. Uh, you got to think long-term here. You're also going to um, have to get on very well with those you go with, I would imagine. Uh, yes, definitely. Um, you, you know, you, you, sanity will be a prime requirement for uh, and stability for, for traveling to Mars. You don't want someone going nuts and opening the airlock in the middle of the night. Um, right. So, so anyway, so, so SpaceX is a harder problem because it's, it's uh, much a long-term goal and, and with a, a lot more money lost along the way. So we've got to make sure that that happens. Um, and is that and the that, sort of thing, that, just to stay on SpaceX, and we'll go to Twitter and tell us in a second, but um, is that the sort of thing that you'd like to lock in to the goals of SpaceX, that Mars remains the ultimate um, ambition of this, come what may? Is that is that, that important to you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's to make life multi, multi-planetary such that, um, and, and the, the key threshold for multi-planetary is that if the supply ships from Earth stop coming for any reason, that uh, Mars does not die out. That's the, that's, the, that's the critical great filter, if you talk about things in terms of the Fermi paradox, the great filter is um, Mars being self-sustaining without any resupply shifts from Earth. Uh, until we reach that point, we're really just a one planet civilization with uh, an extension. Um, but the point at which the, the, the planets are self-sustaining, or Mars is self-sustaining, then even in a worst case scenario uh, of, of, of Earth civilization, either dying with a bang or a whimper, um, then, then Mars would have a much better chance of surviving. Um, so the intent here overall is to ensure that the light of consciousness, which appears to be just a tiny candle in a vast darkness. Um, I, I, frequently, I frequently get asked, have I seen any evidence of aliens? And I, I have not. <laughs> um, you know, apart from the fact that I did at one point have an alien registration card when I was getting my uh, green, green, green card uh, to alien registration. Um, Indeed. <laughs> Possibly a slightly different type of alien. But um, so do you think you'll, will you live to see Mars happen? I, I hope to live to see the first humans on Mars. Right. Um, but I think it will take some period of time beyond that to make Mars self-sustaining. So it's at least 20 years from the first visit to make Mars sustaining is my guess. And it may be 40 or 50. And that's assuming you really go for it. Right. So that's a tough one. Um, but uh, like I said, I think important for um, improving the survivability of civilization. And who's going to pay for that? I mean, are your investors going to put the money up to do that? Are you going to expect government to fund that? Where, where, where does that money come from? Because you, as you say, you can make a return on Starlink. You can make a return on launching satellites for other people and space tourism, but I mean, that's a, that's a tougher return, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think long term, uh, the value of it will be incredibly high. I would just, it's just beyond the planning horizon of, of right. most people or most investors. So, um, I mean, obviously, if, if, um, if there's a thriving um, city on Mars and there's a lot of inter interplanetary commerce and SpaceX is the primary provider of that, it would be immensely valuable. Um, so, um, but, but, you know, the important thing is that, th that there be this self-sustaining uh, okay. you know, colony. Um, and um, I think we, 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 I think we uh, generally operate with too much of an assumption that civilization is robust um, and nothing could really take it down. Uh, a, a sentiment that has been common throughout history among empires shortly before they crumbled. <laughs> so, and you know, I have to say, you know, there's, there's a little bit of late stage empire vibes going on right now. Um, 